That's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or... Wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Well, where's the money? Ain't got no money, mister. Oh, oh, oh. Well, somehow I don't believe you. Where is it? Under my bed. Get on, dear boy. Come on. Get on and let's head back. Just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can. Then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. Dancing, you like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man, no. I kind of plays everything. Kind of plays it. Just give me a minute, sir. Don't let those troubles kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah! Hulk! Hulk! Oh, there's a problem, Hulk! There's a problem! Here's a problem! Ah! Damn it! I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser room. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Is your father home, son? Sure is. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. Lay down here a little. Won't take long. Look at me now. I... Oh. What's that noise? Junior, Come here. Come here, Rob. Shoot this bastard. I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Get on, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around here. Come on. 
on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. You goddamn monster! That is not how we do things, Arthur. Well, I guess he can't tell the law now. Okay, let's get going. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing on our property? Come here! Arthur, let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. You Damn it, he's going for the law. Do something. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I guess he can't tell the law now. Okay, let's get going. Come on! Yeah. Pick up the pace! Damn. You want me to drive? You could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? You could deal with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Branch and turn this in. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Don't follow me. Go around to the side of the house so no one sees you. situation here. I think we should be okay now. We're far enough away. Damn it, Arthur. Why did you start there? Just wanted to get this done with. And I wanted this done quiet and simple, but there we go. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. 
Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. What the hell are you doing on our property? You bastard! You made a big mistake! mess around here. Look at you, long streak of piss. Damn, you're real rude. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. There's something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Yep. Son of a whore! Try to sneak up on them. God damn it! Probably just sweet on her. That was... Ah! So back to what I was talking about. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. You stop right now or you're dead! I gotta tell someone. Stop! Are you dead? Stop now! You got... All wrong, you goddamn fool! Get lost, mister. I was lost! How many years? Who are you? I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house.
My good man! My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, 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 Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I've been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford III? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better. Way better than church. And twice as useful. Free! Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment! The Lord God Almighty, or whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey is... Whiskey is his cousin. The problems! You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand tall, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Where's your whiskey? Made with grain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. <laughs> Hence your hobbling jock, please. Lay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broken. And look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. I got the magic. Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our heads, but they are in our backs too. Oh, oh. I can tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles, they're killing you. That's the spot. Oh, I... Uh... I know it is. Just give me a minute, sir. You'll have women again. Women and song and dancing. And dancing. Do you like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man, no. That, that explains everything. That explains it. That, give me a minute, sir. Don't let those troubles kill you. <sighs> is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit better. <laughs> this session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, mister. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next week. Goodbye, gentlemen. Done? Anything good in there? Uh, I didn't actually make it inside in the end. Was too busy watching your show. Christ, Arthur. Well, too late now. Let's just grab the stagecoach and go then. What the hell's going on out here? Damn it, they're on to us! 
We need to get out of here. Damn it! They must have spotted us riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. So what were you able to lift from the house? Uh, I didn't actually make it inside. I was too busy watching your show. What? I was supposed to be distracting them, not you. What can I say? You ain't lost it yet. Seamus, he's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Respect new partner if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. What? I don't really? want my boss here. Really? This is a side line. Right there. Of course. Look at this. Honest as the Lead day the is long. Exactly. The place is I'll tell you what. Here. Let us prove Me. ourselves. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around this here. Clown, what you call Good you call day, Hosea. Oh, really Good luck with the business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. Could have played that better, old, couldn't you? I'm old so enough. you wanted me here to no show way. some strong you don't trust idiots. That's usually exactly. how it goes. We're not yes, but idiots. You know how this works. I also want to see if your boys got what it takes. But you survived that. Where is he? He's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen the Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us, Rob, your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it too. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Now let's see the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost! You know what? Oh, <laughs> Here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You sell it something, partner? Free. Buy the light. A light. What? Just a bit. Yeah. 
It's a little bit better. Yeah, okay. This has been pretty good traffic, so I might call it good. How much will it cost? I'm not bringing you for anything. Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yep. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Easy, easy. Hold up. I need a word with you. Who are you? What you want? Just passing through, that's it. All right. Can't be too careful with strangers. Someone recently robbed a very nice stagecoach of mine. My damn son's disappearing, off gallivanting again. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Yeah, don't you slow down! Ah. Stupid. Why don't you say that again? Oh, you talking real smart for a goddamn dolt. My lord. I see mushrooms with bigger brains. And more personality, too. Don't move a goddamn muscle. Wrong move, idiot. Damn you! Quit being stupid! All right. I hope we understand each other. All right, all right. This has nothing to do with me. Morning, dear. Welcome, welcome. Hold a second there, friend. Parker? Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Slow it up. Mm. 
You're back. So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. You are a good cousin by marriage, Seamus. Oh, I try. Now, anyway, I trust this ain't just a social call. Mmm, waste of time. You okay, boy? Here you go, boy. Oh, God! Don't. Stop! Don't make me kill you! Stop! Are you dead? Oh, no, you don't! You damn fool! Easy, whoa. 